Philippians chapter 4, lesson uh, 4, it says arrays and multiplication. And array is a group of objects arranged in equal number of rows and equal number of columns. Array, arrays can help you multiply. Okay, and then yesterday we talked about an array. So an array is basically this. If I have... Uh, if I have three rows, okay, three rows, that's one, two, three, okay, three rows, and three columns, one, two, three. So I have three rows, and there's three in each, in each, um, in each row, then that's an array. By the way, they have to make sure that they're in order, lined up, uh, lined up, and arranged in order. I can't, this is not an array by the way. If I do this, and they're all over the place, that is not an array. Okay, the array, the objects have to be in order, in rows, and columns. It says, Mrs. Roberts baked a batch of bagels. All right, Mrs. Roberts baked a batch of bagels. <laughs> she arranged the bagels into three rows. So I want three rows then. So I'm going to draw my rows right here. Three rows. All right? Of four bagels each on the cooling rack. So how many bagels are in each row? How many bagels are in each row? One, four. total number of bagels. Use counters to model the array. Draw the array. So we did that already. So again, how many rows How many rows are there? Three. Three. And how many in each row? Four. So how many bagels do I have all together? Twelve. Twelve. I can count all those counters or three times four is twelve. And I could do it two ways. I could, which, and one way is um, addition. So what three numbers am I, uh, I'm going to um, add together? Four, because there's four in each row, right? So how many fours do I need? I need three of them. We're going to be four, that's for this row. Four, that's for this row. And four. That's for this row. Four plus four plus four. Four, my multiplication set is like I have right here. How many rows do I have? Three. And how many in each row? Four. So I should get the same answer, right? Because four plus four plus four is? And three times four is also twelve. So three rows of four is twelve. Or, what's my multiplication sentence? Mm -hmm. Three times four is also twelve. So the unknown number is twelve. We didn't know how many bagels she had altogether. All right. So this is example number two. It says on uh, one page of Elsa's photo album is shown. Okay, write two multiplication sentences to find out how many photos are on the page. All right? Okay, then. So for the first page right here, this one. How many rows do I have? Four. Four. The rows go horizontal. How many rows again? Four. Four, right? Okay. And how many, uh, how many in each row? Mm -hmm. Two. That's this right here. Okay. Let's do the other uh, photo album. Okay, how many rows are here? No. Two. That's the rows are horizontal. I have two of those. How many in each row? One. Four. So how many all total? Eight. Eight. Because four times two is eight, and two times four is eight. What property is that? Mm. Commutative property of multiplication. This is called commutative property of multiplication. It doesn't matter in what order I have the numbers, 
the product is going to be the same. And what's the product? A, which is the answer to a multiplication problem. Good job. And here it says, a commutative property of multiplication says that uh, the order in which numbers are multiplied does not uh, change the product. So 4 times 2 and 2 times 4 is going to be 8, either way. Okay, look at example number 1 for guided practice. Write an addition sentence and a multiplication sentence to show equal rows. So right there, how many rows do I have? I have one, two. I have two rows. How many in each row? One. Okay. So how many in the first row? One. So that's this one right here. How many in the second row? One. One. So one plus one is two. two. Or two multiplied by one is two. two. Okay. Do number two for me, please. All right. Here we go. This is what we should have had. Okay. First of all, let's do the multiplication one. Okay. The first number tells me tells me what? How many rows? So how many rows do I have? Two. Two. The second number tells me how many in each, in each row, right? So I have one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two times seven is fourteen. And what's my addition uh, sentence? Seven plus seven. seven plus seven, correct. Which is also fourteen. That's what you should have. Let me refer to. I'm going to give you a multiplication sentence and an addition sentence. And what I want you to do, you're going to do the array for me, okay? So first. the um, addition sentence and here's the multiplication sentence. Alright, now go ahead and do the erase. This is what you should have guys, because I know that 3, 3 times 3 is 9, right? 3 times 3 is 9, and then two, uh, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is also 9. So how, how many uh, uh, um, Circles do I need? Nine. 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 And I need to put them in three rows, okay, with three in each row. 